but you played the same practical joke on me about 20 times and I fell for it every time. I used to leave my binoculars in the locker room. Your binoculars were black. I used to wear eye black on day games. So all you had to do was really take a little bit on your finger, rub it around the rim of the binoculars, and hope that we won the game because it's a little more fun if we win and have you walk around with black eyes. I looked like I got into a fight, I had rings around my eyes. I looked like Doug Petey from Little Rascals. Jay, it's, it's my way of showing you affection. I, you know, I know like after some big wins, I'd come on and give you a big smooch on the forehead. Keith, let me take you back to uh, June 15th, 1983. Frank Cash had calls me and says, we got great news. Uh, we traded for Keith Hernandez. So I come up with a brilliant idea. We're in Montreal. I said, Frank, I want to get a limo to pick Keith up at the airport. Get this nice limo with a bottle of wine. Unfortunately, I went to the wrong gate. I took the limo back. You took a cab. But, but next year, things turned around. With that group that came up in the spring training in 84, where I realized there was a lot of young talent that was, I was running around with, I realized that this club might be ready to turn the corner. You've had a great career on and off the field, but I don't know if a lot of the fans know, for two years, if you were my personal doctor, I had this really bad ear infections, and twice oh, a week God. used to bring me to the trade room. I thought it was imperative that you were able to hear, because so many demands were put on you every single day. Right. And I just thought, let me bring you to the training room and clean your ears out. The amount of stuff that came out your ears, you should hear for the next 100 years. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm just but, still hearing today yeah. because of you, my friend. Let's go back April 1st, 1982. You and uh, Walterro traded for Lee Mazzilli. A lot of people don't realize Lee Mazzilli was an icon in New York. Good looking guy, man about town. How much pressure was it on you to be traded for somebody like that? A local kid, right? Um, first time I ever heard of Lee Mazzilli was in 79 uh, in the All-Star game when he had that fantastic game. Hit a home run down the left field line, left-handed. I was like, who is this guy? And I remember his uniform being extremely tight. Right. I said, this guy has the, the greatest uniform we've ever seen. He's like Foxy. It was, it was amazing. And once he had found he had been traded for Walt Terrell and I, um, the famous words, he said, I mean, I can't believe I'm getting traded for two minor leaguers. I remember that line. Yeah, I do too. And you know, Lee and I happen to be great friends now, so I always kid him about it. And he had a teammate in 1986. And a great friend for life now. Ninety nine, you had a good view of the game. In the LCS and Robbins Grand Slam single. You told me you were warming up in the bullpen. Yeah, it was about the I don't know tenth, eleventh inning. Bobby V comes walking over. He's like, "Look, I know you're pitching game six, but we might run out of pitchers." And I remember I had a very light side day earlier because you know you fly to Atlanta on the off day and then pitch game six. I was like, "Bobby, whatever you need, if we lose here, we're done." So he said, "Why don't you go put on your cleats and, and go down in the pen?" So. We ran out of pitchers. They called down. He's like, get lighter, start warming up. I'm warming up when Robin Ventura hits the Grand Slam single. We don't score there. I'm coming in the game. That was a crazy game. 